In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Dream by Wombo, which is an AI artificial intelligence website to create artwork that you can then sell as digital designs. So the first thing you want to do is go to dream.ai. That's the Dream by Wombo website. I'd recommend that you do sign up for it. And then you're going to look for the create button, which is right there. It's also right at the top right. And if you scroll down, you're also going to see the cre start creating button. It's all over the website. So you want to click the create button. From here, you're going to get two things. You're going to get a prompt on the left-hand side. So the prompt on the left-hand side is really just limited to your imagination. And there is stuff here that you can scroll through. Sunsets, cliffs, never-ending flower. There's, there's some different ideas here. But I would just recommend you just have a go at it and see what comes up. So I'm going to type in large sailboat on the ocean. And I'm making up something completely at random. And then what you want to do is select an art style down below. So I'm going to select ink version 3. And there's some free ones, there's some premium ones. I'm only using free stuff. And I'm going to click Create. And then it's going to start creating over on the right-hand side. You're going to see four boxes. Three of them are premium, but the fourth box is free. And that's the box that we're going to be using. So we're just going to create one design. And there's our large sailboat on the ocean. I can expand it out. I like the way that looks a lot. So you could use this as a digital design. You could just sell it as a PNG file or a JPEG file. Or you could make an SVG. And that's what I'm going to show you in this tutorial. Because saving the PNG and saving the JPEG is pretty easy. You just go to the download button right there. And then you click Save. And it's going to come up as a JPEG file. And you just move on with your life. But if you want to create an SVG file, it's a little bit trickier. So what I'd recommend you do is you try the same prompt with different styles. So for example, Dark Fantasy Volume 3. And you get back a really nice looking design, but it wouldn't be very good for an SVG file. A vector file is a usually a cut file. And this would not make a good cut file. There's too many colors. It's way too detailed. We want something a lot simpler. So what you want to do is scroll down and find something that does not look super detailed. Here, for example, is Ink V2. I'll click Create. And that's pretty interesting because it's just black and white and it's got some splatters on it. We could definitely work with that. Here's a great example. I typed in Egyptian goddess in that ink v3 style and I got back a design that's quite nice. It's mostly just pencils and we could certainly work with this. So I'm actually going to download this as a JPEG. Okay, I'm now inside of Inkscape. And if you've never heard of Inkscape before, I've got some tutorials on my channel. It's a completely free vector software tool. I've imported my image and I'm simply going to click on the image now. And I'm going to go to Path, Trace Bitmap. And then over on the right hand side, I'm going to click Update Preview. And we'll see that's pretty nice. It's pretty clean. Now I can change using the slider at the top, the threshold. I can make it really dark. When I click Update Preview, it's going to be completely black. So you don't want that. Update Preview, really, really dark. You can also go the other way. Zero shows you nothing. So if you do too light, It'll look sort of not very bold and, and black. So you want to have something where you've got enough shadow. That looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to click Apply. Simply drag it off. Take a look at it. Is that what you want? Yes or no? I like that. I'm going to keep that. Delete out the original image. There is the actual vector. Now, you'll notice down at the bottom, there's something that looks like a signature down at the bottom. If you want to get rid of something inside of Inkscape, pretty easy to do. Just make sure you've clicked on the image. And underneath the Select and Transform Objects, you want to go to Edit Paths by Node. When I edit the Paths by Node, you'll see all these little squares pop up. These are the nodes that are the image. So you'll see some little lines here at the top. Highlight them. Click the Delete key. Over here on the right, if you want to get rid of all of this, Highlight, Delete. Now you'll notice sometimes you'll get this big black circle. And what that is, is the actual node, you'd have to just move it down. Or you can just simply continue to delete. So you get pretty good at this, moving these nodes down to make them less in your face. Same thing here on the right hand side. This is this little signature piece over here. So I'm going to click Edit Pass by Node. And I'm simply going to drag my mouse over it. Click the Delete key. You can clean up an image pretty quickly, but if you have two hands. And I'm just going through this and I'm just moving my mouse along. Clickety click. And I can delete a whole bunch of notes. You want to have as many details in your image as possible, but you want to have the least amount of nodes possible. So for example, if this is a cut file, you'd probably want to get rid of these little tiny dots around the eyes. So I'm going to go very 
in very closely and I'm going to delete just those little nodes and then you'll notice now it's quite a bit cleaner. This would be a great looking stencil design. Same thing over here. So I will go in and just simply remove them out. It'll just make the design a lot cleaner. And over time you can have something look kind of like that. So yeah, I like the way that looks. That's pretty nice. And then to export it is over on the right hand side. It's about the five down on the right hand side menu and it's called export this document. So I'm going to click on that. And from here you can have an option on how big you'd like to make this design. So I'm going to click on DPI and I'm going to go 300. That's going to make my width and my height quite large. And I can make this now quite a bit bigger. Now you can drag this but you can stretch it. So you don't want to do that. Control Z. What you want to do instead is hold down the control key, grab the corner of the design and then that locks in the aspect ratio and you can make the design a bit bigger. I'm zooming out by holding down the control key and using my mouse wheel but you could also go to view, zoom and zoom out. You could do it like that as well. So I'm just zooming this out and I'm making the design quite a bit bigger. 5,000 by 11,000. DPI is 300 and I'm going to export this now as a PNG file. So that's going to be a completely transparent graphic file and if you want to save it as an SVG it's pretty easy to do. File, save as and then you just simply save it as an SVG file right there. Click save. So I've got a PNG file and an SVG file and I can list those on Etsy or Creative Fabrica and I can sell them as digital downloads. I really hope you found that walkthrough helpful. Here's another video on how you can supercharge your digital design journey.